Okay, so this one's definitely going to be shorter. This one is out of the book, the mental wellness book. I don't remember how far I'm supposed to go, so. After this one today, it's going to be, it's going to start getting in kind of more in depth. Because we're going to get into symptom checkers. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read and do a video on each and every one of them, so. Hey, why not? Okay. This section is called, How Do I Feel Now? I also need to look and see how like far I need to go before I do my exam. I'll have to do that tomorrow. All right, introduction to this section. Tuning in, how do I feel now, is not a question we often ask ourselves, and if we do, we tend to focus on our bodies rather than on our mind and emotions. Most of us check in with our physical well-being. We assess the condition of our skin and hair, weigh ourselves, check under eye bags, and respond to joint or muscle pain by adjusting our activities. My skin actually feels really nice. I think I might be able to use that as a... Always a good thing. It's the Navy. Since our mental health is integral to our overall health, checking in on this is just as vital. The impact of mental health. We live in a society where, for the most part, we are expected to put our feelings aside and get on with our daily lives. However, when mental health challenges arise, they can make getting on with things difficult. This is because the state of our mental health determines how we think, feel, and act. Assessing how we feel. As with physical health, prevention is better than cure, which is why it is important to check in with how you feel from time to time. Signs of mental unwellness can range from the mild and transient to acute and deep-seated problems. Regularly making time to check your feelings and needs can help you fine-tune your responses and even out the often exhausting cycle of highs and lows. However, however, few of us have developed the habit of regularly checking our emotional and mental well-being. Are we feeling low, worried, angry, or withdrawn? Is it hard to focus? Do we struggle to stop crying? Or are we acting out in ways that suggest hidden emotional conflicts? Given that we all feel overwhelmed from time to time, how can we tell... If the feelings, how can you tell if the feelings you are experiencing are something to worry about or not? Your vulnerability to major mental health issues can depend on multiple social, physio physiological, and biological factors. Issues in, in the early years, such as whether you felt safe, loved, and secure as a child, are a major factor. Poor mental health is also associated with rapid social change. Stressful work conditions, gender discrimination. To get this photo. I'm not going to say anything. But I'm happy. Social exclusion and abuse. Unhealthy, life, un, unhealthy lifestyle and physical ill health also influence long-term mental well-being. Rather than being happy all the time, mental health is a dynamic state where different components of well-being, such as the physical and social, are very much interconnected. This means that sometimes symptoms of a mental health disorder appear as physical problems such as stomach pain, back pain, headaches, or other unexplained aches and pains. I don't know where she's at right now. Not really. Remember, you are I don't know if she's back by you. Andrew's door or what? Oh, she's behind you. I'm sorry I didn't see her. Like, literally, I cannot see her from right here. I recommend that Dula's called Sorry. You wait until contractions are four minutes apart and last for one minute for at least minute intervals. Is safer? That's one opinion, Dr. Murphy. Four minutes Once acknowledged, more. mild to moderate mental health symptoms Once can be managed and mitigated through behavioral change and self-care choices to prevent things from getting out of hand. The key is knowing when self-care is appropriate and when you need extra help. 
the symptom checker pages that follow explore some of the common early warning signs of mental health concerns and their causes. If what you are experiencing is seasonal, such as seasonal affective disorder or SAD, or situational, for instance, related to lifestyle changes, exams, or work stresses, the simple self-help suggestions in this chapter and throughout this book can help you care for yourself. If what you are going through is acute and part of a long-standing pattern of mental distress, then while self-care is crucial, more important still is to always seek professional help. As with your physical health, prevention is better than cure for mental well-being, so it is important to check in with how you feel. Questions to ask yourself. What are the major stressors in my life? Are they constant or temporary? How well do I feel I am coping with stress? Are there important feelings I am hiding from myself and others? Do I have physical symptoms that I am ignoring? Is my impulse right now towards self-care or self-harm? What would make things better for my emotional and mental well-being? Do I have a support system in place and am I making good use of it? And that was the end of the first part of How Do I Feel Now? I'm tuning in. And that's another one that I will get up there tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and get off from here. Add this to my list. And I will... I don't think I'm going to be doing any more videos today, but I'll get these up there tomorrow. I don't work tomorrow. So I will... I'll go ahead and get these uploaded. Well, tomorrow I'll get the... Anyway, I will get off from here and get the titles on them and they will get uploaded tomorrow. Sorry, guys. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.